for the currency rises. Exchange rate appreciates. Price competitiveness of your exports falls. Demand pool inflation falls. So the question is, can we say this? Hey, who has already gone through hot money effect? Have you seen this in the school notes? How many flows? <clears throat> half or half right? Half also, school notes. <laughs> this is my answer. Above is valid, but not compulsory to use. Two reasons. Okay, number one, it cannibalizes the airtime for exchange rate policy. This is practical syllabus design consideration. You talk so much about interest rate policy, nothing to say for exchange rate already. Second, not every country experiences the above process. Like China is not very open to hot money. So already point two doesn't work. They say in China, you want to invest, you have to fill up like 70 page document. Fill a lot of details about invest in what, who is the other person on the other end, then end up still rejected. Okay. So this is the first one. Second, even for Singapore, which is very open, we, this one you will learn sooner, high our interest rates to global rates, to 